How's it going OnePlus users? The official Android 10 update just got released for the OnePlus 7 and 7 Pro, so here's everything you need to know about that update. First off, the entire UI has seen a couple of new redesigns, especially when you enable the dark theme within the settings. When you jump into the settings, the menus have been compressed to show more sections at once, and there's a couple of separators to organize the menus appropriately. There's also a new menu called Customization, and within this page, you can change up the entire UI to your liking. At the top, you can choose a preset theme if you want something quick, but you can get a bit more advanced if you mess around with the options below. You can customize the lock screen, including changing the color of the horizon light when you receive a new notification. This option wasn't there before. You can also customize the accent color, change the tone of the UI to something colorful, light, or dark. Of course, I chose dark. You can change the shapes of the icons within the settings and quick settings panel, change the system-wide icons to a preferred third-party icon pack, and switch the font to the famous OnePlus Slate or Roboto. Going back, OnePlus has finally gotten around to supporting Google's digital well-being app, which also comes with parental controls if you have children. And it gives you a ton of information such as how many notifications you receive per day, how many times you've unlocked the phone, your daily screen on time, and more. Dark mode within Oxygen OS 10 has finally been expanded to the notifications and some other elements within Oxygen OS. Probably the coolest feature is that once I turn on the dark tone, some of my apps, including Google ones, automatically turn to dark. The only thing that I don't like when enabling dark mode is that the quick settings panel doesn't turn to a completely black color. Instead, it switches to a dark gray, so it doesn't match the notifications and it looks a bit off in my opinion. Another huge change is that Oxygen OS has included Google's new navigation gestures, which provides a more intuitive feel when navigating the interface. Like before, you can swipe up quickly from the bottom edge to go home, or swipe up and hold to bring up the recents menu. However, the new changes are that it's now easier to switch between your recent apps by just swiping left or right on the bottom bar, and to go back, you swipe inward from the lower left or lower right edge of the screen. Swiping on the top half won't let you go back, which is perfect for apps that have a slide out menu. I wish Google would have done this with the pixels. Instead, you need to hold down on the side and then slide out the menu. If you swipe up diagonally from either side of the bottom corners, you'll be able to bring up Google Assistant. And once you get used to the controls, you can even choose to hide the bottom bar for better screen real estate. For now, it still feels a bit buggy, but not to the point where it's unusable, but it's still noticeable. So if you'd like to go back to the regular OnePlus gestures, you still have that option. For those who love gaming, you'll be happy to hear that OnePlus has once again improved the gaming experience by adding a new app called GameSpace. Within this app, you'll find all of your games neatly organized in a scrollable manner, and you'll be able to change the settings at a system-wide level like before. I wish OnePlus would have allowed per app tweaks, but for now it's a step in the right direction to better manage my games. Within the app being displayed, there's also a new feature called Smart Display, which provides intelligent info like music details for a currently playing song, upcoming calendar events, specific times, locations, and more. Nothing crazy, but it's a nice little addition. Anyways, back to the video, there are a few other smaller changes that were included by OnePlus. This includes the volume slider, since you're able to expand it by pressing the sliders icon. From there, you can quickly change the volume of different profiles without needing to leave your current screen. Personally, I think this looks much cleaner than what Google provides with the pixels. When you first boot up the phone, you'll see Google's new Android logo. The categories within the app drawer of the OnePlus launcher are a bit more organized. And if you use the OnePlus messaging app, you can block spam with specific keywords. You just need to tap on the three dot menu in the top right corner, select spam, tap on the gear icon, select block by keyword, and then add the text. Those are the main changes included by OnePlus in this update. Of course, you still have the regular changes from the general Android 10 update. For example, it's easier than ever to prioritize your incoming notifications to obtain less distraction. Just long press on any notification and a new menu will pop up. Select important if you want that notification to make sound or vibrate as it comes in. Select other if you want it to have no sound or vibration or turn off the notification altogether. Your important notifications will always appear at the top and less important ones will appear right below. Privacy has also been a huge factor within this update. This time around certain permissions like location can be chosen to only be allowed while the app is in use. So if you don't want Facebook to constantly know your location while it's in the background, you can force it to only use that permission while it sits in the foreground. On top of that, you can share and connect to Wi-Fi networks within the settings much more quickly with the addition of QR codes. It'll even display the Wi-Fi password, which is amazing. Music players now have a scrollable seek bar in the notifications panel, and album covers get blurred in the lock screen just in case you're listening to an embarrassing song. 
Google also made it easier for OEMs to update their phones with the latest monthly security patch by using Google Play. So now you'll be able to differentiate between a security update provided by Google and a regular update provided by the manufacturer of your phone. Lastly, you get the new Android 10 Easter egg within the About Phone section when you tap on the Android version multiple times. Either way, those are the major changes included within the Android 10 update on the OnePlus 7 or 7 Pro. Obviously, I didn't cover every new change within Android 10 since there are so many, but I'll drop a link to an Android Police article where you can see every new feature possible. If you guys want to manually update to this version without waiting for the OTA, then you can download an app called Oxygen Updater, which will quickly get the update for your device and show you how to install it without any hassle. Anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of this update within Oxygen OS. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!